Hello, my name is Knut Benedict and I like to tell you something about an Erasmus Plus project. The title is Euro ZA and it's on capacity building in the field of maritime education. Um, I'm with the Hochschule Wismar. This is a, a University of Applied Sciences in northeast of Germany and we have a Department of Maritime uh, Studies and Maritime Simulation Center and also an institute, ISIMS, which is focusing on the research um, in the maritime area. First, I would like to emphasize the partners. So we have six partners. There are three from Europe and three from South Africa. That's why the name is ZA. And uh, the three from the, uh, our South Africa, it's first to mention the Nelson Mandela University in Port Elizabeth because they are our coordinators. Hello, Rene and Howard. And uh, then we have the Cape Peninsula University of Technology. They are located in Cape Town, South Africa, Samantha. And then we have the Durban University of Technology in Durban. Hello, Sanja. And um, in Europe, we have the Solent University in Southampton. Hey, Carol and Adesh. And then we have the uh, Sata Kunta University of Applied Sciences in Rauma. Hello, Sauli, and hello, Mary Maya. And finally, it's us, Hochschule Wismar, uh, University of Applied Sciences in Germany. The aims of the project. Uh, first, we want to develop and compare the respective maritime education and training curricula to learn from the others best practice. Then enhancements in the pedagogical processes, how to do the best in teaching and training. And finally, also to look on to our facilities because they are very important in maritime training because even the international maritime organizations, which is uh, surveying all the maritime education all over the world, they look onto the quality of the training equipment, like specifically simulators, huge simulators. We will see some of them. And uh, one uh, element was how to improve these equipments in the South African institutions. Uh, most important, we have a website. Uh, you see it here. And on this website, an overview is given about the project description, uh, all the meetings we had, uh, newsletters, partners and contact. So, very important. And now to the objectives, what we want to achieve or what, how we want to do that. Uh, what we want to do is a clear mapping of our focus areas to see what each institution's specialities are and to learn from each others uh, how to get a recognized curriculum. Then we want to collaborate in the development of curricula so that the students of the South African maritime institutions have the chance to also come to Europe and to continue with master courses or even with uh, uh, um, PhD doctorate uh, student uh, elements. And then we want to equate the standards um, between the partners specifically with respect to the equipment to compare what we have and what we can also uh, achieve in South Africa. Yeah, the first meeting we had, this was a kick-off meeting and we were very proud that we could host this uh, meeting in our maritime simulation center in Warnemünde. You see that there's a huge building with a lot of simulators in the top and all the floors. And we have demonstrated these uh, simulators and also our lab inventories for engine operation and others. And we also were demonstrating our new baby, the fast time simulation, which 
br uh, brings a lot of benefits for improving maritime training with maneuvering of ships. And then there were other meetings uh, f uh, f in, in Finland, for instance. This is our team. I don't know, was it, was it before the sauna or after the sauna? We did a lot of work, but we also had a lot of fun. And then there was a meeting in the Solent University in Southampton in June. And later on in the year, in November, we had a big trip to uh, South Africa in the Cape Town University in Durban and also in uh, Port Elizabeth. Then, unfortunately, it stopped because of the corona crisis. Uh, uh, so a lot of uh, work is done now via the internet and a web conference, specifically these Erasmus Plus days is a, a big chance for all of us to uh, spread our results all over the world. And then there will be also a conference uh, at the end of this year, unfortunately also on a web-based uh, resources. Yeah, what I want to contribute here is our specific um, um, result, specific contribution. Um, we call it fast time simulation for maneuvers. Uh, why we are doing this? In contrast to um, the training in so-called full mission simulators, where you have a replica of a full ship bridge, as you can see here, um, which is very costly and very time-consuming. So, for instance, one turning circle of a ship to turn around the ship might take half an hour or up to one hour. And so one training session is nearly over when you have turned the ship. So it's very uh, time-consuming, but very important. You have to have it in your training institutions. But to make it how to say more efficient and to build up a mental model in the brain of the students much more faster, we have the fast time simulation. So in a finger snip, you only need some seconds to show how a turning maneuver is working, what you can do with your maneuvering handles to have an effect on the turning. And uh, in, um, in some minutes, you can even complete a full arrival maneuver, starting with the ship here, turning the ship, bring it back to the berth, uh, for instance, to this passenger terminal here in the area of Rostock Wannemann. So this takes only some minutes. Then you ha have already an, an idea how it works. And afterwards, you can go into the simulator, and then you don't make mistakes anymore. So you have learned a lot, a lot of uh, things before you go there, so very efficient. I will give you a small example, example how it works. Uh, I show you now the example of the fast time simulation. So this is a ship, ship shape here, and this is already a turning circle done by fast time simulation. And I can tell you how fast it goes if I change the rudder here, for instance, to 20 degree, then the uh, turning so gets bigger and if you uh, go further to 45 degree for this ship it's possible it's a passenger vessel then you see immediately how the turning circle is changing and if you reduce further the the uh, the, the speed of the vessel um, then you see the impact of the speed onto these onto these uh, turning characteristics of a vessel and um, you could even could demonstrate the effect of engines or let's say first we go back to 20 and then we can show the, the thruster effectivity of that ship. So this is with full thruster on top of that so the turning is improving. And if you want to split the engine further then you can go with one engine ahead and the other engine is going astern, and then you achieve a total different turning behavior. So all these effects goes into your brain, hopefully, that you understand how the ship is doing. But you also could do a full maneuver. For 
So now we are ready to uh, start the maneuvering planning. First, we want to move the ship to a certain position where we want to add the next maneuver. For instance, this position where we like to start the stopping maneuver. At this position, we reverse the engine, so we see clearly uh, where the ship will be after a certain time. So, if we move the ship, we see that the speed now is nearly zero. Uh, this is the next maneuvering point. Uh, we stop the engine here and um, go maybe a little bit ahead already and use our thrusters to turn the vessel. Um, maybe like this and the stern thrusters to the other side. So we could immediately turn the ship in a way as we have shown here. Uh, and we should stop the turning uh, maybe at this position to gain already speed. So we see that the ship is now proceeding in a way that we can go back into the channel um, and then we could steer the vessel uh, to a certain distance. So we are lined up, we can immediately develop a concept for these maneuvers. And we also could uh, save this maneuver and uh, show the maneuver afterwards. So it's a brilliant tool to uh, develop a concept for a maneuver. This, for instance, is a complete maneuvering plan. Um, this time a version where we turned uh, to the port side and then going back into the channel to berth the ship here. This is a version with no wind. So it looks very simple. You can always line the ship up in the channel where you want. Uh, I made an alternative version under wind and I will show how it works to have a new one. So I have to reset the maneuver and then to load up a new version which I had made before. So this time a version with 25 knots of wind. And uh, if I load this version, then you see immediately how the ship is be the maneuver is being loaded and the maneuver is being simulated again. And we are now here at the maneuvering point zero is the starting point here, but we can hop onto any other maneuver here, for instance, maneuvering point one. This is where we are going to stop, one engine ahead, one engine astern, so we are turning into the wind. The wind is 25 knots from 60 degrees, so you see here also the, the wind arrow. And uh, also the next maneuvering point, number two, is this one where we are turning with uh, both thruster into the wind and the ship is already gaining speed. And uh, then in the next phase, number three, so we are here in that position that the sh uh, ship is steering into the channel. And if you want to see the final version here in maneuvering point five, then you see that the ship is being stopped here. So the engines are going astern and you have to travel the ship to the berth. So as I said, it's a brilliant tool which you can use for designing a concept for maneuvering and afterwards briefing your crew uh, what you did on each and every uh, position. And you can repeat it under another wind condition or current or whatsoever. So, great. What I should not forget to mention is there's also a website available. I will show you here. So, if you go, if you go to YouTube and you type in ISIMS Institute, then you will get come onto our uh, website where I have made a lot of movies from this project and from other projects. 
uh, describing uh, ships, dynamics, theory, maneuvering, planning, and whatsoever. So there's a big collection of movies where you can have a look. And I should not forget, there's also a conference. There will be a conference this year at the Durban University of Technology. It's called the ICMET Conference, International Conference on Maritime Education and Development. It's in November and I would wish to go there, but unfortunately this year, due to Corona crisis, we will do it uh, on the internet. And we are very proud that we could deliver two papers um, by our university. The first is uh, on the innovative summon teaching method for ship handling. This is a fast time simulation tool. And the next is, uh, the second is by Michelle, uh, artificial intelligence as practical approach to, the represent, to represent complex dynamic uh, relationships in maritime navigation. So also very important. Yeah, I would wish that you could uh, join us, see you in the web in November. And with this, thank you very much. I would be very happy if you could join us for the Erasmus Plus days and also for these conference. Thanks a lot.